and now I beseech thee, let the power of my Lord be great, according as thou hast spoken, saying, The Lord is long-suffering, and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Pardon, I beseech thee, the iniquity of this people according unto the greatness of thy mercy, and as thou hast forgiven this people from Egypt even until now. The purpose of the awakening is to draw the people of the Most High back to their creator, the Elohim of Israel. The awakening of the indigenous black people require repentance. If the people of the Most High are repenting, they must know what they must repent from to receive forgiveness. Transgressing the laws of the Most High require repentance. We live in a system that does not label transgressing the laws of the Most High sin. The traditions and laws of men has polluted the high standards the Most High demand of his people. Israelites, just because the laws of men is the supreme laws that govern the heathen nations you live in, does not mean the laws of the Most High are obsolete. The same way the beast system does not acknowledge the Most High does not mean the Most High doesn't exist or in control of the world he created. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High appoint kings, presidents, and anyone who's in power. The Most High is the one who dethroned them as well. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. While the world judge you based on the laws of men, the Most High judge you based on his laws, statutes, and commandments, regardless of where you dwell. The only one who can abolish the laws of the Most High is the Most High himself. The kingdom of darkness used religion to put an end to the laws of the Most High in the beast system. Israelites, you must comprehend that the laws of the Most High are not done away with. The workers of iniquity do not have the authority to eliminate the laws of the Most High. The Most High will always judge you according to his laws. That is why you must abide by the laws of the Most High and not the laws and traditions of men. The laws of the Most High are supreme. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. The workers of iniquity and religion has manipulated Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 to get the people of the Most High to abide by the laws of men. The workers of iniquity convinced the indigenous black people that the laws the Most High created to govern his people are no more. When the people of the Most High do not follow his laws, the word of the Most High call it sin. Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. The Israelites and indigenous black people live in a culture that promotes transgressing the laws of the Most High. The more the Israelites and indigenous black people indulge in the beast culture, the deeper they fall into sin. The scripture said, sin separates you from the Most High. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. When the indigenous black people are separated from their Elohim, this opens the door to the kingdom of darkness to have its way. The indigenous black people are being slaughtered in the beast system because the laws of the Most High are out of sight. Because the laws of the Most High are out of sight, the laws and statutes of the Most High are not a priority. The indigenous black people are perishing and their oppressors continue to rule over them because they do not know the laws of the Most High. Religion told them the laws were done away with. When Yahshua said he did not come to abolish the laws but to fulfill, Satan's ministers failed to disclose what Yahshua came to fulfill. The scriptures said Yahshua came to fulfill what was written about him. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, 
that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. There are numerous prophecies written about Yahshua. Throughout the Bible, Yahshua fulfilled those scriptures to let the people of the Most High know he was the Messiah sent to help the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The laws of the Most High are still in effect, and the laws of the Most High are the laws that should govern the people of the Most High regardless of where they live. When the Most High judge his people, he does according to his laws, not by the traditions and laws of men. The laws of the Most High reveal to us that Yah will punish the children for the iniquity of their fathers to the third and fourth generation of all those who hate and transgress his laws. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Despite the scriptures revealing the Most High would punish the children for the iniquity of their fathers to the third and fourth generation, there are many people who dismiss the sins of their fathers and the Most High's judgment towards the iniquity of the fathers. The kingdom of darkness established various groups in the beast culture. One group believed because they were not present when their ancestors sinned, they are not responsible nor should be held accountable for the sins of their fathers. There is another group of people who believe no man can die for another person's sins. The scriptures were truthful when it said the world does not know the most high. The indigenous black people do not know their creator. If the indigenous black people knew their Elohim, they would abide by his laws and statutes. But my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. The indigenous black people must cleave to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. The laws of man are contrary to the laws of the Most High, just as the flesh is contrary to the things of the spirit. The laws of man cater to your flesh and cause the people to rebel against the Most High. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. There is a misconception about the sins of the fathers. Most people, when they hear this topic, they automatically assume it's a male bashing message. The reason so many disregard the sins of the fathers, religion, and self-righteous people that have zero understanding of the words of the Most High are constantly misinterpreting the scriptures. The reason the iniquity of the fathers are highlighted in the scriptures, the Most High made the men the leaders in their community. Regardless of who's in control, the men are responsible for the conditions of their community. The people follow their leaders. If the leaders are not serving the Most High, this will cause the people to stumble and transgress the laws of the Most High. There are many instances in the scriptures showing the Israelites following their leaders and their leaders caused them to sin against the Most High. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Just because the men are responsible, it does not pardon the iniquity of the women. The Most High held Eve and Adam accountable despite the scriptures revealing it was Eve that was deceived. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Because Adam is the leader, the Most High called for Adam and questioned him first before he judged all parties involved. Let me remind you, the Most High judged his people based on his laws, not with emotions and the laws of men. The scriptures reveal that the Most High's ways are higher than our ways, and his thoughts are greater than our thoughts. Therefore, the Most High will not use human logic to reason with himself. He established his laws, statutes, and commandments to govern his creation. Just because the beast system reject and dismiss the Most High's laws, this does not mean the Most High abolish his laws to conform to the standards of men. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. 
The Most High said he will punish the children for the iniquity of their fathers to the third and fourth generation. Most people do not know what iniquity is. The beast culture define iniquity as immoral or grossly unfair behavior. Iniquity is a behavioral wrongdoing. A person's sin graduates to iniquity when a person continues to repeat the same wrongdoing without repentance. Such person transgress the laws of the Most High without remorse. Israelites do not confuse iniquity with sin. Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. When a person sin, he or she can repent and completely turn from the behavior that caused them to sin. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. And mine iniquity have I not hid, I said. I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin, Selah. If a person repent from the sinful act, he or she gain the opportunity to be forgiven and redeemed by the Most High. Just because the Most High pardon your sin, it does not mean you will not deal with the consequences sin brings. When the Israelites built the golden calf to replace the Most High, if Moses did not seek to make an atonement on the behalf of his people, the Most High would have destroyed them. Matter of fact, the Most High almost destroyed his people on multiple occasions. The Israelites would obtain mercy and forgiveness from the Most High. However, the Israelites had to deal with the consequences of their action, despite of receiving mercy for their transgressions. The Most High said to Moses, When the time comes for me to punish them, I will punish. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book, which thou hast written. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Therefore now go, lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken unto thee. Behold, mine angel shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. And the Lord plagued the people because they made the calf which Aaron made. The Most High said his people, the Israelites, are the only family he knows. Yah said he would punish them for all of their iniquities. In addition to punishing his people for all their iniquities, the Most High said, judgment starts with his people. Therefore, the indigenous black people are in the conditions they are in all over the world. They are being judged for all their iniquities. But the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Iniquity is not only transgressing the laws of the Most High. Iniquity is when you deliberately engage in acts that goes against the will of the Most High. Iniquity is diabolical behaviors. The people who indulge in iniquity do not see anything wrong with what they do. They defend and look for ways to justify their wrongdoings. You often hear me refer to the wicked the synagogue of Satan, and anyone who does evil as workers of iniquity. The scriptures has many verses calling Israelites and heathens workers of iniquity. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The synagogue of Satan are workers of iniquity. These people are leaders in the beast system. Their occult practices influence many to transgress the laws of the Most High. Oftentimes, the individual or group that hide behind the scenes and controlling everything we do in the beast culture are people who hate the Most High. They are committed to their idols. They often conspire to get the world to serve their idols unknowingly. Such individuals or groups are workers of iniquity. The sins of the fathers, the leaders, are publicized because the Most High said he would punish the children to the third and fourth generation for the iniquity of the fathers. Since the fathers are the leaders and the ones controlling governments in the household, 
the scripture referred to the evil being done as the iniquity of your fathers. In the indigenous black community, the iniquity of the fathers are transferred to the children in the form of generational curses. If a person take the time to observe their family, he or she can identify several patterns in their family. For some, the pattern is early death, a plague of infirmities, sexual abuse, drug abuse, and many other patterns that affect the members in that family in every generation. Until this day, some Israelites continue in the same rebellion their fathers had towards the Most High. For example, Solomon struggled with strange women. Today, the indigenous black men are struggling the same way Solomon did with the strange women. Do you see how Solomon's iniquity continue in the Israelite bloodline until this day? The love of the strange women did not begin with Solomon. There were many occasions the Most High made the men of Israel put away their strange wives and children. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed, and have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore, make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourselves from the people of the land, and from the strange wives. Then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. The iniquity of the fathers is dangerous because most people do not view the patterns they see in their family stems from sin and iniquity. When a person does not repent from their sin, it opens the door to the judgment and wrath of the Most High. If you don't deal with the iniquity plaguing your life, iniquity opens the door to destruction and death. I hope the indigenous black people can begin to see why the indigenous black communities all over the world are failing and in the conditions they are in. The sins of the fathers are increasing. Nobody is taking accountability because they do not see anything wrong with what they do. The scripture said the wage of sin is death. But the wages of sin is death. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. The indigenous black communities all over the world are dying. The remnant can see the judgment and repenting from their sins and the iniquity of their fathers. The Most High instruct his people to repent of their sins, also to repent from the sins of their fathers. If the iniquity of the fathers did not affect the children in multiple generations, the Most High would not instruct his people to repent of the sins of their fathers. We read in the scriptures of the Israelites lamenting over the iniquities of their fathers. They said, our fathers have sinned and we bore their iniquities. The time has come for you to stop lamenting and confess your sins and the sins of your fathers. And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers, and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place, and read in the book of the law of the Lord their God one fourth part of the day, and another fourth part they confessed, and worshipped the Lord their God. The way the iniquity of the fathers are transferred to the next generation, the children imitate what they see. Remember, iniquity is a repeated behavior wrongdoing. If the parents are displaying bad behaviors, often the children will imitate the same behavior. When the children follow in their parents' footsteps, this caused them to sin, and the judgment the Most High reserved for iniquity is now on this person and their children if he or she does not repent. We often hear in the beast system the slogan of the apple never fall far from the tree. Before the Most High awakened me out of my slumber, I suspected the people of the scriptures were indigenous black people because of the similarity black people shared with the Israelites in the scriptures. When the Most High opened my eyes, Yah confirmed my suspicions. The scriptures did say, by their fruits, you would know a person. Our ancestors' behavior and the indigenous black people's behavior in this generation are identical. Wherefore, by their fruits, 
you shall know them. It is important for parents to set good examples for your children because your iniquity will transfer not only to your children, but your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, all the way to the fourth generation. This will continue if someone does not notice the pattern and break the cycle of generational curses whose foundation stems from the iniquity of the fathers. The iniquity of the fathers is a serious matter that needs to be dealt with in the indigenous black community. The seed of the serpent often say they were not present when their fathers sinned, therefore they are not responsible. We learn iniquity is a behavior wrongdoing. You might not have been there, but you continue in the iniquity of your fathers. This generation of the other species of mankind said, they did not hold slaves or was present when their fathers abused the indigenous black people. I was not present when my fathers disobeyed the most high, yet here I am in the land of my enemies being abused in the beast system controlled by the seed of the fallen, the same way your fathers controlled the slaves. The Most High's words will not return to him void. It will do what he sent it to do. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Change comes from taking responsibility. The indigenous black people's condition never changed from the times of chattel slavery until now. Slavery morphed into mental slavery. The indigenous black people still do not have equality or freedom in the beast system run by the other species of mankind. The iniquity of your fathers continue in you. Instead of taking responsibility and repenting, your leaders hold themselves not guilty and continue in their iniquities. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not. When Eve and Adam disobeyed the Most High in the garden, we all ate with them. When my ancestors rejected the Most High as their king and said to Samuel, make us a king so we can be like the heathens, my fathers decided for me that day. The same way your ancestors decided to be vessels of dishonor, they made that decision for you. The apple never fall far from the tree. Despite the Israelites in this generation not wanting to be like their rebellious ancestors, their behavior and attitude are just like their ancestors. My generation was not there when the Israelites went astray. I am a partaker in the judgment that came from the iniquity of my fathers. The same way all indigenous black people are dealing with the consequences of Adam and Eve's iniquity in the garden. The scripture said, when the workers of iniquity hang Yahshua on a tree, the people said, let his blood be on me and my children. Then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and on our children. Your fathers spoke for you. It is important to repent of the sins of your fathers and not ignore the transgressions of our fathers. The other species of mankind never repented of their sins. Until this day, they haven't dealt with the consequences of their actions. Have the Most High say to the heathens that mistreat his people and committed all this evil that he pardoned your iniquity, just as he pardoned his people, the Israelites, when they sinned? I have yet to hear the Most High say to the heathens that commit such abominations across the world that he has pardoned them. Just because you created an idol in religion that forgave you of your sins or take away your sins because you accepted him, it does not mean the Elohim of Israel has pardoned your iniquities. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. And first, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have defiled my land. They have filled mine inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. Just like the sins of the fathers are transferred in the form of generational curses in the indigenous black community, the sins of the fathers in the other species of mankind's community are transferred to their children in the form of traditions. The heathens pride themselves in their traditions. The scriptures warn us to stay away from man-made traditions. 
the heathens preserve many abominable traditions in the form of holidays and religion. There are a lot of indigenous black people following the heathens traditions and increasing their sins. Albeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. The fathers passed down a lot of sacred covenants to their children and evil covenants. We must make the decision to follow the Most High. The scripture said a time is coming when the heathens will recognize the traditions and the lawlessness learned from their fathers were lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. I hope by the time they realize it's not too late. Israelites and indigenous black people, generational curses are the results of iniquity being transferred from one generation to another. There are many people repeating the iniquity of their fathers. Recognize the lawlessness, repent. Do not forget to repent of the iniquities of your fathers. It is time for the leaders in the indigenous black communities behave in a manner that will open the doors for generational blessings to overtake their children and the generations to come. Stop passing down curses to your children. The time has come for you to let go of the ways of this world and cleave to the Most High. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands. And also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass which they trespassed against me and that also they have walked contrary unto me that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land.